A retired farm couple from Foreman, North Dakota, has been through a difficult fight with the USDA and Farm Service Agency to get the CRP rental payments they were owed. As Mikkel Pates found, Dan and Sherry Zernhelt learned some tough lessons that they now want to share with others. Beware. Absolutely beware. Don't assume anything. Verify what you're told. Those words of warning from Dan and Sherry Zernhelt after a trying ordeal with the USDA. It's in writing, it's in our contracts, but the contracts do not mean anything. The Zernhelts owned about 800 acres near Foreman, North Dakota, but a few years ago it looked like a deal with the Conservation Reserve Program would pay more than they could count on from cash rent. So in 2015 they signed a 15-year CRP contract. It, everything was going just exactly what we were told. The ins signing incentive, that came just exactly like she said it was going to be. The local FSA officer told them they could expect about $75,000 rent in October of 2016, but they only received 17000 Went into the office and says, what's going on? This just does not work. This isn't what she told us. What do I do about this? The technician says, there's really nothing you can do about it. Once it's been put in the system, that's what it is, and, and there's nothing can be done about it. And I says, well, I don't think so. The Zernhelts claimed they were given bad information about payment limits. They appealed, they won at the county and state FSA levels, lost at the national FSA level, and then won at the National Appeals Division. Their payment was increased but still fell $15,000 short of what they were promised. We were supposed to know how to figure this out. When their own people don't know how to figure it out, we were supposed to know. So we basically lost $15,000 for not going above the people in the office and reading their rules which how would we ever have known? Rather than pay a lawyer on a win or lose basis, they decided to represent themselves. And now they want to use what they learned as a lesson for others. We want people to not depend on the uh, interpretation or the rules that the technician is telling you, because if they're not exactly right, you're the one that's going to lose. You're basically on your own. Dan says the process could be made fast, easy, and accurate with a simple worksheet. In Forma, North Dakota, this is Mikkel Pates for Ag Week. Mikkel has much more on this complicated story in the next edition of Ag Week magazine.